All right, and continue our game. So we just pushed the claim of this guy here, Count Pas... Well, he was king for a while. <laughs> for like a couple of days. Pascalis of Belgorod. And we zipped it. We slandered the guy. We imprisoned... He revolted. We tried to imprison him. Rightfully. He revolted. Uh, illegally. <laughs> and we revoked it. So we now have the titular title of Carvuna. It really isn't... Great. I mean, it doesn't own any digital land, of course. It's titular. And now we just need one more kingdom. I think we should go for this. For Croatia, over here. It's uh, it's tiny. It has 350 men. We can put down most of our troops. Oh. These guys... Oh, the suzerain. I don't like that. Permanent as well. So they've made them a tributary state. Um, they use the, the tributary state. That's as by lie, not the extort tribute. Um, uh, okay. Oh, hello. What are you? Miaphysite, huh? Hmm. Claimants? Only a bunch of women and a lot of guy. Damn it! Do any of them have. Nah, well, I can't land them. I can't land women. So I can't. Even if they had a strong claim, it's it's kind of useless. Um, do we have something nice over here? Galicia. We've got lots of boats, so we can. Oh, what's this? Oh! Well, here we go. Prince Ares. And he's willing to join. All right. Well, it's decided. We will be king of Galicia. Invite. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... Uh, he's an adulterer. He deserves it. All right, let's go. All right, Ares. What do we own personally? Can we hand out some awful land somewhere? I guess it doesn't really matter. We will give you Kaliopolis. It really doesn't matter. All right, so we will put our troops down. Yep. We still have our, oh, the game's running. We will claim Galicia. I'm sorry, but your son is a, is it your son? No, your someone, your uncle is going to be a better ruler than you. You, you, our disgrace, your craven, and this man right here is the better option. At least until I revoke his title. Uh, okay. Get my boats over there. Load up our troops. Nate to charity. Uh, I'm not sure about that one. Oh, my troops aren't moving. Let's get them out here so they can all just walk onto the boat. You guys load up. All right, let's visit Galicia. We're going on a pilgrimage. Oh, we own land here. Such a mess, this, this empire. Who's this? Who's this? I don't really care. Okay. You can have her. Alright, no doubt they're already sending their troops towards my capital, even though it's a defensive war. It's just, just the way the AI behaves. My quartier becomes Ethiopian. My core physician is making people Ethiopian. Okay. That's... yeah, okay. I don't care about you. And your stupid dead... brother or whatever. <laughs> we were going to push his claim, but then he decided to die at age 39. Alright, so let's just fight. 
Where are your troops? Where are you going? Are you really going to march all the way over to my... To Constantinople? Where are your commanders? Let's find some commanders. You don't have any commanders? Where are your troops? I want to spy... Oh, there you go. Sorry? Hang on, wait a minute. It says you've got AK troops. Where are your troops? He's got people leading troops there. Hmm. Whatever, we'll just... There you go, they're there. They've arrived. Oh, no, that's not them. That's, that's a bunch of Berbers. Uh, Alright, fine. You go back. But let's... Let's do this for now. Let's sort this out. Let's just split them in half. 13k to just sit at home and defend. I don't know who you people are, but you need to move. You are in the way. We'll get this inspiring leader. We'll get the direct leader of Battle for Terrain Master and we'll get this cruel infantry, uh, cavalry leader. Hang there. And you... We split up this fleet. I don't, we have to be landed. Wait, hang on. Split the fleet. There. Get this boat back to Constantinople and deal with these savages. Trying to loot it. Oh, there's your troops. What exactly are you doing? You're doing a lot of things. You're defending against the Dushur War. Catalan invasion of... is That's got to be this. Catalan band. Yeah, no. I can't let that happen. We can't assault siege because this is a level 6 fort. So we're going to put a siege leader, which we have. In charge there, we can give my uh, my daughter an education. Let's make her a diplomat. He has a, an affinity for it, apparently. Taking attrition, but the second we siege this, surely we are still taking attrition. We're out of supplies, that's why. Oh, did, did we? Did we just cap? Yeah, there you go. That's better. Let's just start sieging, sieging this stuff. It's we just need a big battle. We need to hunt that guy's troops down. Actually, we'll just siege down Porto. Just land there. Doesn't matter where exactly. Just get some guys in charge. We had no boom. Uh, he was already in there. Okay. All right, beat him up. Just stand on Constantinople. Secure it. My niece gets a thrifty edu education. They're leaving, of course. Cowards. How dare they. We just siege. Capturing people. I don't think they're worth war score, are they? Oh, they, they are. Some people. 50%. I've got his what? His... I've got his entire family in my dungeons. All right, so um, can you? Okay, there we go. <laughs> we really don't need to get decent commanders in here. We'll just beam up and surely. Yeah. Oh, you now nah, look. This has this does not concern you, Catalan band. Get out of here. We'll just beat him up. Someone became Miaphazite. This guy is really... I mean, she's got heritage focus for whatever reason. And now she's an Ethiopian Miaphazite. And her parents are German Catholics. Italian Catholic. Okay, that... Whatever. <laughs> it's kind of funny that that can happen. Let's get the siege guy in charge again. And we're just standing here in Constantinople. Losing, losing a lot of gold, but it really doesn't matter. We're almost done with this. And the next crusade is going to just shower money on us. There you go, 100%. Alright. Uh, I'm just going to straight up revoke this. I'm not going to just dig up dirt on him. <laughs> Reconquest. There's currently an... Yeah, we get notified of that when we are Catholic inside that area. 
And he's gonna say yes, okay. It grieves me deeply. All right, moving up. <laughs> I don't think we can really move up any higher than this. We're already an emperor. We're getting a couple of t du jour titular titles and, and some awful kingdoms that are like basically two duchies. That is two duchies. Two duchy kingdoms. Having an empire in I Iberia is always annoying. Uh, if you don't personally hold all the kingdoms, because all your vassals start creating all these all these kingdoms. That that's a kingdom. This is a ki that, that is literally a kingdom. It's like a single duchy kingdom. And everyone becomes kings. It's really annoying. I wish there was a lord to prevent people from creating vassals from creating kingdoms in your empire. All right, so we've not done this yet. I guess we just need to die and, and we'll get it right. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. Well, we will put these troops down. We are paying a ton of money for that. And now we can hand out the kingdom titles again just to stop people hating us, I guess. It's Gavalkin. Well, let's get the troops home. Let's stand over here. <laughs> Should our objective now be to get ourselves killed? With 35. We're over at the main limit. Why is that? What what do we do we get something out of this? Got a castle here. And we we own all of that. No, we're not over that's under the main limit. Right, right. I'm looking at the vassal limit. That's fine though. We'll just hand out the ki uh, the kingdom title. Maybe to the guy that we just... Nah, nah. We don't want him being a king again. We'll give it to one of these people here. Alright, uh... No, it was, it was just a prank. It was just... It was just a prank. You can have it back. Jeez. <laughs> just kidding. I just wanted you as my vassal. That's it. Oh, oh, and you want your family back? Do you want to pay for it? That person is apparently worthless, so whatever. Saint in heaven. Who is he? Some guy. You can convert counties faster to your religion. And uh, damage against enemies. Christian church opinion. Okay. Well then. This is gonna die out. It always does. Nah, maybe it'll... It'll stay alive a little longer. <laughs> the AI is very, very bad at keeping... Bloodlines alive. Unless it's already, like, everywhere. You know, like, King... The, the Calling Blood. Uh, I don't know if these guys have any. But... Actually, let's have a look. actually dying out. Where's King Carl? Or Count Carl the Hammer or whatever it's called. Is the icon different? I can't spot it. There he is, down there. Zero, it's died out. I see. Hmm. And this is the most common bloodline. This guy right here. Blood of Rurik. It gives prestige and East Slavic opinion. It's rather unimpressive. <laughs> unless you're East Slavic. Oh, hey. Yeah, the troops have already arrived. There you go. Put the fleets down. Everything's costing a lot of money. What are my expenses? Retinue upkeep, wow. That is quite expensive. I've got more land, so more Italian pikemen. Chance of learning? Nope. Didn't get it. But yeah, now it's literally just... Wait. That objective is not something you can just like... Wow, unless you kill yourself, of course. And Hurry up the, the prestige. 
Because our prestige adds to the value. Right? I think this is this is uh, prestige and piety. So when we die, uh, we will get it, right? What is it? 15,000. Yeah, that's, that's, that's it. We've done it. <laughs> All right. We'll turn this into a mission. How do you kill yourself? Real quick. We're not in love with our wife, so we can't murder her to make ourselves suppressed, which is kind of odd, but... Uh, we're not a poet. Weren't we an aspiring poet? Were we? Pretty sure when you when you fail falconry, you could become uh, matrilineal. All right, you can marry this old dude. Sure. The vassal limit is still high. Uh, how do we? Well, hmm. You know what? This guy. <laughs> I'll just grant him independence. Enjoy. <laughs> he can pretend he's king or something. We don't want that land. He's probably going to get gobbled up by some neighbor right away. Now we're under our vassal limit. That's oh, fine. I'm sure we could clean up this area here some more. Or uh, something down here. Do some uh, housekeeping. Like, this guy probably hates us because he wants control of uh, the county of Abydos. I could have just done that, but... It's fine. You here. You, you there. Just have a... And, uh, yeah. So, how do we kill ourselves? How to die? We can become stressed by going the business focus. We can duel someone. Let's antagonize people and duel them. Yes. Yes, let's do that. Let's choose this option here, this filter. Let's find people who really hate our guts, like my brother. No. This guy. The Hindu people always hate your guts because you're always of low caste or whatever. Yeah, wrong cast. I don't have any cast. Low cast? What are you on about? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Those things don't apply to me. He's like, oh, I hate you so much. <laughs> but we're gonna... We're gonna fight this guy. We've got high intrigue as well, so nobody can escape us when we challenge him. We have another daughter. Make, yeah, save her. Just don't make her Ethiopian or whatever. <laughs> it's like, we're not going to choose the heritage focus. Okay, you saved her. Well done. He knows what he's doing. Oh, there we go. There's our money. My men are ready. To Egypt. Yeah, okay, Pope. I'll sign up. I'll lead troops personally as well. Look, look at me, I'm the first one. I'm so pious. And yeah, you definitely uh, will get this prestige score so easily if you join a crusade. We're going to get tons. Look, everyone's like, yeah! Um, let's become stressed. Let's make her well-groomed, sure. She actually got it as well. Usually it's the opposite. You, you you suggest something and then then the kid's like, no, I'll choose the opposite. Uh, summon the council. Let's become immortal. Uh, we have high marshal, and this guy has high marshal. He's fifty nine though. I don't want him dying. He has high intrigue. I have high intrigue. Sure, whatever. Let's go. Let's go. Uh. Right, we auto-stopped him doing whatever you wanted to do. So we'll just have a look at this. We'll just wait. Some stuff's happening. Go to Constantinople. And 
we'll just watch the countdown. Blue's written you. At about 150 days, I guess we'll start gathering up. Promises in the dark. We have to pay some money so you can figure out, you know, okay, yeah. And I'm, I'm talking about dying. And I'm trying to become immortal. <laughs> Whatever, okay. And whatever is all I have to say to that. What the? What exactly is going on down here? Like, I'm just gaining land without even trying. Like, what just... What just happened? What exactly... <laughs> what, what exactly is this? Why do I have a... Sultan... Under me. Was this there before? I've not really been paying attention. And I'm rather confused right now. I'm gonna have to load an earlier save and see what exactly went on here. I've got a Sunni Berber who is the Sultan of a lot of terror like a lot of land. He's got his territory is massive. And uh I give him the titular title of Kavuna as a um, vice royalty. Okay, he's like, "Oh wow!" And then I'm gonna say, "You want to convert?" He's like, "No." All right, fine. Well, let me just give you this poorly crafted sword. Can you believe it? He's like, "Wow, that's amazing!" All right, do you want to become Catholic now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm just a little confused, but yeah, it's it's fine. We could have just revoked that guy's stuff now, I guess. It'd slander him, imprison him, and just revoke something. All right, Pope, we are going to do this. We have the land down here as well. It's it's all very. Uh, I mean, it's part of his stuff, I guess. No, what are you? All right, no, it's you. You just like you. <laughs> it goes from being Sunni to donning all this stuff. Like, no, no, you're not. You're not. Wait, you are a theocracy. Because <laughs> of course, um, yeah, Muslims can hold mosques. Mosques and castles are basically the same thing for them. There is no theocracy. So clearly his capital must have been a mosque. Where, where is your capital? Where? It's down here. You're a tribe. This is getting more confusing by the second. You're not a tribe, but you hold this as your capital. The Aruane tribe is where you reside. You're, you're just walking around in this garb. You're a Berber Catholic. You're a king bishop. The traitor. Of Al... Almora. Oh, oh. You want to be co my court chaplain? <laughs> you want to now convert people to the proper faith? Starting with your tribe? It'd be hilarious if he gets beaten up uh, and injured. Heathens attack the court chaplain. <laughs> <laughs> he suddenly becomes Catholic, starts walking around, preaching the, the word of Jesus, and then just gets beaten up by his own people, I suppose. Even though they're... they're, they're Berber, yes. It's... okay. At least we're getting a laugh out of this. It's all kind of very... awkward. I can make my sister the court tutor. She's kind, just... A, you know what? Sure. Hi Almoner, King of Galicia, the master of the hunt. And people, this guy, this guy hates my guts, he's a heretic as well. Duke of Corvuna. I kind of don't want him in my empire, I, I might as well grant him independence. 
but uh, we'll not do that just yet. I can make this guy the court physician as well. He has sympathy for like everything. And let's make this guy the court physician. Designated regent. My wife, right? Got all sorts of du jour claims on, on Ghana and Songhai. It's, uh, yeah. We've got more tech. We're getting more and more tech. Let's get... Imperial administration, I guess. I mean, don't we already have it? I mean, no, we don't. But I was able to hand out a... Oh, do we have duchy? King, no, we have kingdom vice royalties already. Right. Okay. Everyone... Am I gonna duel this guy? I, I kind of want to stay alive now. <laughs> my work with him is done. He's my he's my rival. He's there to be dueled if I need to, if I want to. All right, get on the boat. Park ourselves outside. Well, we're going for Egypt, so we're not going after these people. I guess we're going after these guys here, right? Um, yeah. He's not even a king, so it's gonna create a crusader state well not a crusader state more like a a kingdom of crusader egypt or whatever you go out into the water uh, and uh you people just park yourselves outside the shores of egypt or on the shores whatever All right, 53 days. We're going to get scurvy. Let's remove everyone. It's funny how you can get scurvy after just spending one day at sea as well. Like, oh, yeah, you got scurvy. Is there anyone still leading troops somewhere? Yes, there is. Someone down there. Get him to the top and remove him. All right, Pope. Say the line, Pope. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yep, we pledged our men. Yep, well, let's go. Onwards. My brother wants to join a holy order. Yes, good riddance. All right, let's get the uh, participation participation trophy. I'm a crusader. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> Everybody else? Oh, we've got some orthodox in here. Don't you want to be a crusader? Come on. Oh, wait, they got it anyway? Orthodox get it as well now? Pretty sure Orthodox didn't used to get it. Oh well. You can be Catholic as well. Be a proper Crusader. Ah! Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm, I want to click on this, right? There you go. Alright, let's split these troops up. And who's getting this? Who is getting this? My brother. <laughs> My celibate brother. Hmm. If they get a bloodline, I don't think they get a bloodline. Sometimes they do. I can't remember quite when that happens. I think it happens when Constantinople gets sacked. They get a bloodline. And the game, for some reason, they, they always choose, you can only ever choose people who don't stand to inherit directly. And 99% of the time, that means the list is going to be full with women. Because most males are somewhere in some line of succession. But my brother obviously is far enough away to not um, be, you know, ineligible, whatever. So you always get these female uh, kings and emperors, empresses uh, instated. 
and they immediately lose their bloodline because they, you know, AI can't handle matrilineal stuff. They can for a little while, but they usually always fail in the end. Uh, content? <laughs> Should I steal the image of Edessa? Hang on, before I get booted out, let's... Uh, oh, I can't teach any virtues? I don't have any? Does my son already have them? I'm at war. That's why. There you go. That's better. Alright, what did he become? He became charitable. Hmm, okay. I guess it, it was obvious since I only really have that. Could have become diligent, I suppose. <clears throat> yeah. I'm ambitious. Let's steal the image. Donate to charity. No. Are you the actual guy? Are you gonna give us war score? Yes. Alright, chase these guys down. Beat them up. I didn't want to join that fight because I wanted to be the main like attacker or participant. Grab it and run! Having just having decided that the relic would be much better safeguarded in my own hands, I must now tackle the task how to liberate it from the confines of the monastery. I can think of a few paths to take. Grab it and run. Bribe the abbot. Uh, 1,700 got no. Play a trick on everyone. Using your superior sense of subterfuge, you might stand a chance. Uh, well, I do have 80 intrigue. Grabbing and run. I have 21 martial. Does that mean I can run fast? Play a trick on everyone. Let's do it. Salt siege this. Why not? Let's try and... Can you not run away? Where are you going? Is that him? That's not him. Where did he go? He just... He just... He legged it. He's up there. What is that? When... We are going to take attrition if we go there. Uh oh. Count Astrid of Neaka. Deep in the night, I have snuck down the relic's chamber. Adrenaline pumps through my veins as I take hold of the priceless artifact, savoring the feeling of it in my hands. But suddenly I hear the sound of footsteps and turn around to find Donatus Astrid looking at me with wide eyes. You have caught me. I submit to the order's judgment. Diplomacy minus 10 for 10 years. Wow. I don't think so. Use, the, use their surprise to make a break for it. Or leave no witnesses. Gains the trait greedy. Attempt to murder her. She's brawny. I don't know if I want to wrestle with a brawny fat woman. <laughs> that, that could go wrong. It could go, even though she has minus one uh, combat skills. I don't know if it even considers this. This, this event, uh, this event existed before this whole revamp, so I don't know if it actually considers this. Maybe it only looks at Marshall. I don't care about the order. I already spent my uh, my tokens. Actually, let me spend some more tokens. <laughs> tokens. <laughs> yeah, let's give my daughter a whatever, and I'm just gonna leg it. Bye. Is this it? Wait, no. Image of Edessa. I've done it. I have the relic and shook off my pursuer. But Donatus has just saw me blatantly steal the artifact, and so my life in the order is certainly forfeit. Details, details. <laughs> what does she think of me? Stole artifact. Oh, I hate you so much. Otherwise, she actually kind of like us. Well. I am ambi ambitious, so there you go. We get a bunch of... Oh, we get health. It gives you a health bonus. How does it do that? <laughs> national tax up. <laughs> because we got this, we get a national tax. I guess it, that kind of symbolizes what? Like, uh, almost like tourist kind of income, like uh, pilgrimage people. Pilgrimage people coming along and... Uh, can I not join the Hermetic Society now? Can I not join the Dominican now? I'm only banished from the Benedictine, right? Or which one, whichever one I joined. Which one was it? One of the two. Yeah, 
Okay, this is uh, this this hunt for this guy's army is kind of. I've got some troops here. Let's put those down. Whatever, we're beating something up. I'm I'm sure this is. This is not giving us any. There he is. We'll wait until he's locked in movement. Yes, damn it. He's creating stuff in in west uh, Western Africa. Mystic appears. This guy's a fraud. This is our ticket to dying. This guy is a fraud, right? Whichever stat you choose, they always have a base value of at least six. This guy's got five, so he's got to be a fraud. Uh, with learning, it's even higher. It's like minimum 10 or something. So whenever they have less than base 10 learning, you know it's a fraud. Um, something along those lines. But yeah, this guy is going to murder me. Well, kill me. You could actually... Oh, wait, wait, no, no, wait, hang on, wait a minute, that's our spy master. That's not him, wait, hang on, okay, wait, we're, we're rushing a little, we're rushing a little. All right, are you real? Oh, wait, no, wait, wait, get out of here, people, come on, where, where's the, int oh my god, this guy is, he's now stealing money, he's using his power, I guess he's called the traitor, maybe we should, maybe we should have thought twice about employing some guy called the traitor. Uh, disappointing, but understandable, I don't want him... Yeah, whatever. He stole a hundred gold. Whoop de doo. <laughs> Where is this mystic? Is she? Uh, I wish a popper would appear right away, telling us about this mystic. Where's Cleopatra? There you go. All right. Are you real? Base two. Okay, you're a fraud as well. Because whatever stat you choose to to find her, which is never stewardship, I think it's always martial diplomacy or. Um, intrigue and learning and she only has a base value of two so it's yeah whatever I said there to that other guy when I confused him for the for the mystic um, it applies there she is a fraud are you stealing my war score or my participation let's get over here what is that that's an uprising that's not going to give me participation score you move over there so anyway, you can do the first two tasks, which are relatively easy most of the times, and sometimes they confer good stats to you. Like, I became brawny and quick or something, or shrewd with one task, and then for the last task, I just imprisoned or told him to go away. Yes. So, uh, I'll accept your teachings. And we might just end it here. <laughs> we might just die right here, just to get yeah, this run over and done with even though lots of weird stuff is happening here betrothed matrilineal my courtier yeah okay yeah no i am the biggest contributor of course pretty sure that's because that we had that fight Formation uprising. You know what? I, I don't like these people being here. Can you just go away? We don't need an uprising in lands that are going to be ours soon. Uh, I'm pretty sure it will become inv invalidated, but once we beat this up, that guy should... These, these guys should just disappear. And this guy should have 100% against them. Yeah. a siege leader in here. Do we have two siege leaders? No. Can we get another one? Siege. Uh, furry man. Okay, any and my religion group. Really? This guy's like the only... Wait, what? Men who are not in prison any, doesn't matter if they're married. Not rulers, of course. Uh, Diplo range, yeah. Doesn't matter if, if they're of any great house. My religion group, and this is literally the only guy. Are you kidding me? 
in the whole Christian world. Hmm. Maybe some of our assholes are siege leaders. <laughs> a corrupt court chaplain is. Alright. Alright, you're going to have to stop what you're doing there. And just help me siege this. This guy. He's not married. He's got a million kids. I guess he lost his marriage when... Uh, he became a king bishop. Alright. Teach me all your tricks, wise woman. We're gonna have to, you know, pickpocket people. Yeah? Take all my money, why not? Uh, yeah. I'm friends with this guy. Is this pre-sieged? Hmm. Let's go heavy foot. You always have he lots of heavy infantry in your armies. Yes, well done. All right, promising student. I whatever can I can pickpocket. Not surprising. We're pretty good. There's no armies to fight here. It's just... It's just a siege fest. What is this guy, anyway? Is he Shia? Yeah, it's he's Shia, so that explains it. Sunni everywhere else. Right, there's a couple of guys that are like, Oh, yeah, I guess we'll help you out. Maybe. Whatever. So... Do we want this for ourselves? I suppose we do. Our beneficiary? Recipient? Why would I give away my titles? Or why would I give away my titles? Yeah. Cursed heathens? Alright, this run... It's probably coming to an end. <laughs> when we die to this Cleopatra. What if we actually- you can become immortal, even if she's a fake. There you go. Praise God! Yeah. Alright, well... What do we do with this land? We can land, uh... Hmm. We could land this guy. Although he's probably gonna matri- oh, normal marry her to one of his dynasties, so we're gonna... Uh, nah, we won't land these people. I can, I can land. Are you still here? I can land my nephew. <laughs> sure, why not? Let's land my nephew. What did I get a kingdom title out of that? No, I didn't. I didn't get any kind of like crus. Oh yes, I did. Kingdom of Crusader Egypt, titular. So let's have a look at the duchies. Whatever, I'll just land my, my nephew. Uh, where are you? Where, what, what have we got personally? Right. We've only got this personally. That is awful. <laughs> Alright, well, you're not getting much here. It's only a titular title anyway, so... Enjoy. You can marry whoever you want. Duchy of... yeah, you can have all that. We'll give you the vice royalty, because we're generous like that. We'll give you a vice royalty of Crusader Egypt. And we'll transfer the vassalage of uh, uh, all these people. This is a... Duke Raffaello. Rafa... Is it double F? Right. I guess we can't. Whatever. We'll just, we'll just leave it the way it is right now. He can be a king of this place. 
He's very happy, very excited. He's only nine, he doesn't really understand. At least he's Italian. This guy is what? Scottish. This guy is what? He's Norman under an Italian. Okay, so it's alright. There's lots of Italians here. We can imprison this guy, of course, because he was stealing money. Now we, we, we wait for Cleopatra to just murder us. Well, get us killed. This is quite some empire. The right mess. Uh, no. No, no. It's fine. We can pass that. Oh, forge bloodline? Alright. How many things have I completed? Not much. Yeah, rule of peace for 30 years. Why doesn't it count like retroactively? Even though I guess it's correct now because we just had a, a crusade. I should just give away one of my... Well, I should lower this to medium again to get some more vassal limit. Press it, heathens. All right, here we go. Dying tonight or dying tomorrow, it matters little. I must succeed. Pick, pick the simple but dangerous method. Yes. You die a horrible death, thus failing clear part of the question you took off. <laughs> Alright, so there's that. And there you go. Emperor Constantino I has given up the ghost at age 40. He died in an accident. A zealous man, he fought for the glory of God against the heathens in one of the greatest holy wars of recent history. Emperor Constantino II, merely 14 years old. Yeah, merely 14 years old. The realm is left in the capable hands of the regent and council. Long live Emperor Constantine. Yeah, okay. Very generic. And there you go. Lovely rule. Very lovely. So, that was a bit of a... I mean, I totally did not expect this to end up like this. Um, you know. Having land down here. Having some crazy king bishop doing god knows what over here in Maghreb. Where's your title now? Where's your... Oh, you moved it? You had enough of this holding and you want to go over here to this? <laughs> it's so dumb. Uh, we pushed a few claims. We've got some land there. We've got land there. This broke free on succession, of course. Because of a harsh exclave independence. And uh, I generally don't like this Latin Empire's colour. It's very sim similar to all of these things over here and this stuff down there. It's... It's all very samey in colour. But we've done it. We've got all the achievements. And I'm just going to be done with this because this run is a mess. I much prefer to do things differently than the way things happened here. We started off as the Duke of Samos. Byzantine, the Byzantine Empire went kaboom. Some other guy inherited... The Latin Empire. We married off some of our, our son to the heir, which wasn't their direct son. It was like some patrician's daughter, and ah, uh, things happened. We won the crusade for Jerusalem. We won the crusade for Egypt. We pushed a few claims, and somehow got in control of uh, yeah, this guy. <laughs> Maybe he was a vassal or something. Somewhere. And was having his claim pushed. And we vassalized the person that he was under just at the right time. I, d I don't know. But that's CK2 for you. Crazy things can happen. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next Let's Play.